welcome you to Pure Pro Wrestling. Let's lay out for Ron Killings. Y'all know what time it is. This is the part where we crank it up. Let's crank it up. Now here we go. People over there, what's up? You feel me? Stand up and say what's up. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? You can get with this, or you can get with that. You better get with this, cause it's where's that? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? See, I be skipping and jumping, leaving the competition. I make them disappear like your favorite magician. And I ride it till the wheel fall off. I bounce back to back till they next get soft. Most of the time you see me, I'm being simple. Too many times I'll be busting them up like a pimple. Stating my claim to fame. To be one of the baddest young brothers step foot in this game. And I haven't even started yet. You can better believe I take it off the show shop bet. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Ron Killings, a.k.a. R-Truth, making his debut here tonight. But will it be a successful one? No small task as he has to overcome this next fighter. Shelton Benjamin, very accomplished in both amateur and pro wrestling. We're going to see how this one plays out. And his opponent from Orangeburg, South Carolina, weighing in at 248 pounds, Shelton Benjamin. The last time we saw Shelton Benjamin, it was in that brawl with Solo Sokoa. The match ended when Solo Sokoa hit the Samoan spike and pinned Shelton Benjamin. One, two, three. But as we looked at the replay, we saw that Shelton Benjamin did have a rope break. Now in this organization, the referee's call is official, so that ruling has stood. But Shelton Benjamin now on the warpath, attempting to prove that he's the best wrestler in this company, attempting to get a shot at that global world television championship held by, well, we'll address that a little bit later here tonight. The opening bell sounds, R-Truth 6'2", Shelton Benjamin 6'2". Little bit of a weight difference there, Shelton Benjamin 248 pounds to the 220 of R-Truth boot and a hangman's new style neck breaker early on from Ron The Truth Killings. Ron The Truth Killings, a guy that I watched when I was growing up, double wrist that time into the modified Aurora Borealis kick out there. Shelton Benjamin, a guy I watched growing up as well, Shelton in the WWE, Ron The Truth Killings in NWA TNA, as well as NWA Anarchy, formerly known as NWA Wildside. Nasty Axe Bomber style Latiato there in the corner. Ron The Truth Killings, not only a successful recording artist, but also a former two-time NWA World Heavyweights Champion, as he yells out what's up to his fans here in Richmond, Virginia. Here tonight in Richmond, Virginia, we'd like to thank the people of this great state for welcoming us. Forearm shiver that time from Shelton Benjamin. Shelton Benjamin, a man trained by Danny Davis, a man mentored by Jim Cornette in Ohio Valley Wrestling. And with that pedigree, of course, you're gonna be great. Then you factor in that he was under the tutelage of Kurt Angle, shoots the half here, hooks the far leg, does Shelton. Got a two count. Ron The Truth Killings originally from the North Carolina area, part of that North Carolina contingent. So many great wrestlers there. Over the top, modified T-bone suplex that time. Single leg, spins through, into the ankle lock. Nicely done, we talked about Kurt Angle a couple of seconds ago. Ron The Truth Killings, a man who probably best known for his stint in NWA TNA, part of the three live crew, the three LK, with BG James, AKA the Road Dog and Conan. A lot of people look at R-Truth as comic relief and that's unfortunate. Ron The Truth Killings here in this organization, trying to prove the point that he's still a very serious athlete, still a man to be reckoned with, still a problem. Drops down, 
Nice lariat. Cover here, hooks the far leg. Run the Truth Killings. Also a former NWA World Tag Team Champion in the past on multiple occasions. We've talked previously about black superstars like Ron Simmons, a man who was the first ever black WCW World Heavyweight Champion. Corkscrew leg Larry, nicely done. Once again, went to drop that elbow, could not do it. Ron the Truth Killings, and it took over 100 years, became the first ever black NWA World's Heavyweight Champion. He did that in NWA TNA, and it was so nice that he did it twice. Modified camel clutch here. The difference in the wrestling styles between these two is vast. Shelton Benjamin, the former amateur wrestler. As we see, LeCabra, Doricone, Elo, that tilt-a-whirl flying head scissors snapped off by R-Truth. As we see it from R-Truth, nice offense from Truth. A cover that time off that guillotine leg drop, only got a two count. Charlie Haas early on was the tag team partner as we see the super kick. Tiger suplex with the bridge. Two count. Charlie Haas early on was the tag team partner of Shelton Benjamin, the world's greatest tag team they called themselves. Nice hooking southpaw lariat off the top that time. Went for the K brought across body. No one was home that time. Ron the Truth Killing shoots his man off to the corner. Comes in. Nice splash. Down goes Shelton Benjamin. This would be a massive win for Ron the Truth Killings here tonight. It'd be a big win for Shelton as well. There's that trademark T-bone. No modification on that one. Referee in position. Only got a two count, but can you imagine Ron Killings coming in his debut match and defeating Shelton Benjamin? Shelton drops Ron Killings that time, Canyon style. And that is it, gets a three count off the flatliner. As we go to the replays here, it was that exploder suplex, the T-bone over the top. There's the complete shot, AKA the flatliner. Shelton got in position. The referee got in position, but still a great showing from Ron the Here's Truth Killings. Shelton Benjamin. And we look forward to seeing Ron the Truth Killings in the future. Fans stay with us, more action on tap. to live action here and we're about to bring out a man who's become really one of the fan favorites here maybe the best high flyer in this organization we're gonna lay out momentarily for the ring announcer but I'm excited to see this man I'm excited to see Ricochet one more time I'm excited to see what he's gonna uncork here tonight the following is scheduled for one fall making his way to the ring from Paducah Kentucky Weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! Ricochet, a man who faced Hurricane Helms, aka the Hurricane, in the first round of the PPW Global Television Tournament, was actually eliminated by the Hurricane. That was the first match in the history of this organization. Here tonight, the Hurricane has sent one of his old school protégés, a man that the Hurricane actually mentored, actually managed both in North Carolina as well as in TNA Impact Wrestling, a man who will be making his debut here tonight, a man who the fans are going to be surprised to see, a man who, quite frankly, just recently signed with this organization earlier this week, and we're going to bring out that individual right now.
and his opponent from Burlington, North Carolina, weighing in at 220 pounds, Cameron Grimes. Cameron Grimes, a second generation wrestler. His father passed away about five years ago. Never really got to see his son come into this level of prominence, both financially as well as just uh, the amount of notoriety he has now on an international stage after being part of both TNA Impact Wrestling and being a massive part of the NXT roster for a little bit there before jumping ship to the main roster of that organization. Cameron Grimes looking to prove something here tonight and I think if anybody's going to beat Ricochet it might be this individual. The opening bell sounds. Cameron Grimes, six foot, 220 pounds. Ricochet, five foot nine, 190. Not a massive size difference there as we see that Paul London style drop salt. The moonsault drop kick, Irish whip that time, drops down. Leapfrog, over the top, Ricochet, double leg shot into a spine buster. Ricochet might only be 190, but he's got gravity on his side when he picks you up and slams you like that. Front face lock now from Cameron Grimes. Standing gourd buster. Little Jackie Fargo strut there. Ricochet looking to grab his man, could not. Did catch the boot that time. Ricochet, step up Gammon Geary. Decides to cover his man, looking for an early win here. We've talked in the past about how Ricochet is a former Young Lions champion in the now defunct Chikara promotion. But we also have to talk about Cameron Grimes, a three-time TNA Impact Wrestling X Division champion. And what a spectacular champion he was for that amazing organization. I mean, really, when you think about the TNA X Division, you think about a, a division that really has defined pro wrestling Nicely done, sits out with that 2K1 bomb, does Grimes. I mean, when you watch pro wrestling now, when you watch both women's wrestling and you watch cruiserweight wrestling, you have to see the massive influence that TNA Impact had as we see this replay here, that beautiful double leg we saw earlier. Table tops his man, does Ricochet. High crotch, scoop and a slam. Might be his tribute to Jushin Thunder Liger here. Shooting star press, no water in the pool. Cameron Grimes back to his vertical base, back elbow, charging forearm shiver from Ricochet. Ricochet is competing in both Dragon Gate and Dragon Gate USA. Shot off into the referee on accident. Ricochet will take advantage here, backslide. Referee drops down. When we talk about the pedigree of Cameron Grimes, as we see that nasty uppercut knee strike, we have to talk about a man who was not only, as we mentioned earlier, taken under the wing of the Hurricane Shane Helms, but also trained by Matt and Jeff Hardy in the Carolinas. Let's see where this thing ends up once again. Scoop slam there from Ricochet. Maybe his tribute to Jack Evans and Jarrell Clark, the 630 cent on, that will be it. Such a high risk move, such a dangerous move, a move that really over the past 20 years, maybe only four or five guys in wrestling have been able to pull off. Ricochet pulls off the Mahi Straw Cradle, got a two count. What amazing cruiserweight action. Blocks the Muay Thai style roundhouse kick, back leg sweep, red star press. Cameron Grimes that time able to get the knee up. Man, what a, a juxtaposition between our opening match with those two heavyweights and now this match with the cruiserweights. And fans still to come in the main event, we will see LA Knight. I understand he will be taking on a mystery opponent that has been hand selected by Otis. Once again, Cameron Grimes, the 2K1 bomb. Sat out with it, hooks the leg. Has a similar effect of a, a falcon arrow. Just dropping the man on the head, and I like how he actually cradled the ankle that time, the leg, to be able to get a pinfall attempt. And fans, it is every Saturday we bring you this great action, pure pro wrestling. 
the best pro wrestling you're going to see anywhere. Pro wrestling with respect. Pro wrestling with rules. Respect for the most part. Cameron Grimes perched on top the Falcon's nest here. Ricochet, what is this? Scott Hall called this the career ender. That avalanche style belly to back suplex from the top. Ricochet surveys the damage. Gonna go up top now. Got a long way to fly, but if anyone can make up the distance, it's that man, and he does. Nice elbow to the small of the back into the Anaconda Vice. Nice submission hold here on the former PWG Tag Team Champion, Cameron Grimes. Did that with another amazing X Division style wrestler and Andrew Everett. Very underappreciated in this sport, very underutilized, very undermentioned, to be quite honest with you. Ricochet now surveys the damage, stalks his man. Let's see where he goes here. Pulls out his Quebrada Moonsault. We've seen this combo before, and now off the top with another Moonsault. Takes that into a pin. Will that be all? And no, once again, only getting a two count. Ricochet, also a former WWE Intercontinental Champion. There's the Red Star Press. Paying a little homage to Amazing Red, who I'm sure is watching from Brooklyn, NYC right now. We will be coming to you in the next couple of weeks from Brooklyn. It will be fight night in Brooklyn. More info to come. Scud Missile drop kick, cover. Two and some change that time. This one getting real close. Cameron Grimes needs to come back into this. Get some offense off. Super kick block. Nicely done by Grimes. Needs to throw that foot away. It's another uppercut knee strike. Did not jump with that one. Hammer lock throw to the corner. See where he goes here. Just punts his man with the shin to the face. Ricochet kicks his man off. Cameron Grimes, also a former NXT North American champion. He's no slouch. He's won gold everywhere he's been. And I'm actually... I'm hearing in the headset right now, that's who Otis is. Well, fans, you're going to want to stay tuned. Otis has brought in a very heavy hitter here tonight to take on LA Knight in our main event. I mean, that's pretty crazy. Front face lock here. Orange Crush, Shades of Kenta Kobashi. Doesn't go for the pin though. Cameron Grimes wants a little bit more. There's a receipt. Wanted to hit that elbow that he ate earlier. Ricochet breaking some codes here. He's beat many guys with this. And he just beat one more. What an amazing cruiserweight match that was. What great junior heavyweight, light heavyweight, X Division action we've just witnessed. The Shooting Star Press, the 6.30 sent on. And then it's Ricochet with a nice move here, the Code Breaker, the pinning combination, and managed to get a three count. Here is your winner,
And when you talk about bright rising stars in this great sport of pro wrestling, when you talk about fan favorites, when you talk about hungry individuals, the following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds, L.A. Nice. L.A. Knight, the perpetual motion machine of badassery, the namer of dummies. A man who's been on quite a tear here. It was a best of three series with Carmelo Hayes that L.A. Knight won to become the number one contender to the PPW Global Television Championship. As you just saw in that video package, we will have a rematch in two weeks, fans. You're not going to want to miss it. It will be Ivar challenging Otis. Now, you're going to be asking the same thing that LA Knight is asking. Why am I not first in line for the shot? And we will get to that. But let's lay out here. You're going to be surprised to see who Otis is bringing out to face this man. And his opponent, accompanied by Otis, representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable! L.A. Knight demanded that he face Otis here tonight for the championship. Otis has defended the championship already one time in the past 30 days, so he did not have to. Otis not exactly a fan favorite, but a fighting champion when he needs to be. And told LA Knight, I won't face you, but I will bring out my tag team partner, Chad Gable, and we'll see how you do. Now, I have to point out that if Otis does interfere in any way, shape, or form in this match, according to management... Not only will he be stripped of that championship, he will face a six-month suspension from this organization. You hear that opening bell. And now Otis better be careful here. On the ring skirt, not making any contact with LA Knight. L.A. Knight making a lot of contact with that lariat. Just drops Chad Gable. Little background on Chad Gable here as he goes over the top. B. Passo on that back elbow. Chad Gable, a man who competed in the Olympic Wrestling Trials, the Pan American uh, Championship gold medalist. Butterfly suplex, speak of the devil there. I mean, Chad Gable, if this thing goes to the mat, is the better wrestler. I'm not going to beat around the bush when I say that, but this is pro wrestling, and on their feet, I think L.A. Knight might have him. Shoulder block there. Series of stiff backhand knife edge chops. Knight set for the ride. Once again, the shoulder block, and we see Otis out there. Kind of coaching Chad Gable, nothing wrong with that. Front face lock here. L.A. Knight beautifully executed uh, vertical suplex there. Almost reminded me of that Bret Hart style suplex. And you hear Otis there banging on the ring apron, trying to get his man back into this thing. Leaps into that Hangman's new style neck breaker. Saw that a little bit earlier on in the opening match. Ron Killings hit that on Shelton Benjamin. Shot off to the corner now. L.A. Knight comes in series of boots Chad Gable one of the few men ever to be a WWE Triple Crown Tag Team Champion meaning he's been Tag Team Champion in NXT Smackdown and Raw and the man who he held the gold with on Raw was the man you see at ringside there Otis flying shoulder block did not connect that time spins through into the neck breaker Another neck breaker that time for L.A. Knight. Maybe looking to set up that blunt force trauma. That ace crusher style driver he likes to go. He says, yeah, after that power slam. Collar and elbow that time. Chad Gable set for the short ride. Short arm lariat. Lateral press. There's that perpetual motion that we talked about a little bit earlier on from L.A. Knight. Knight, in a very short amount of time, has become one of the more popular wrestlers in this organization. I almost think about 
Uh, a guy like Chris Benoit back in the WCW days when people used to say Benoit was the best wrestler to never win a championship. And Chad Gable, once again, that butterfly suplex. Otis like that one. We see him applaud from ringside. Once again, that flying crossbody does not come off for him. It's a simple boot and an even more simple DDT from LA Knight, who hooks the far leg that time. Got a two count. LA Knight, a two-time future stars of wrestling. Heavyweight champion out in Las Vegas, Nevada. LA Knight has also held the gold. We talked a little bit earlier about Cameron Grimes holding gold in TNA. LA Knight drops down, pump handle. Takes it into a power bomb, covers his man. Wait a minute. Only a two count. LA Knight in TNA was both a King of the Mountain champion. He was also the World Heavyweight Champion, the Global Heavyweight Champion, it was called at that time, believe it or not, in TNA. Or Global Force Wrestling, whatever you'd like to call it. Capo kick. No water in the pool that time. And now almost shades of Lance Storm. Rolls back, almost reminded me of that straight shooter that Storm would do, rolling back into that single leg crab. Here we see that LA Knight has rolled back into a traditional Boston crab. And when we talk about submissions, when we talk about guys trying to win matches, Chad Gable has won a lot of matches with that same ankle lock that guys like Ken Shamrock and guys like Kurt Angle have won so many matches and championships with. Chad's going to be looking here for a flip over neck breaker and gets it. LA Knight right back up and Chad says, you know what, I'll go right back to that same playbook. Chad Gable not making any friends here tonight in Richmond, schoolboy. And it was a flat hand on the small of the back that time from LA Knight, did not pull the trunks. Now just a knee to the back of the dome. LA Knight, also a former tag team champion in TNA Impact Wrestling. Spine shaker. That might be it. LA Knight tops his man. And Otis once again banging on the side of that ring there. Very uncharacteristic here for LA Knight. Drops the knee. Maybe his tribute to the late, beautiful Bobby Eaton who would drop a knee sometimes, an elbow sometimes, leg bump. And LA that time, miss, gets caught, victory roll. And almost had him. There's that capo kick. Chad Gable, so quick. And one of the things about Chad Gable is you're never gonna gas this man. The cardiovascular conditioning is next level. Frying pan style chop. Knight sent off to the ropes, shoulder block there. Neither man goes down. Second time, third time. And it's a hard right hand there. Aurora Borealis, the Northern Lights over the top. Nice bridge. Only got a two count that time. LA Knight able to roll the shoulder just a little bit off that canvas. That's all you need. Irish whip, short arm. Over the top, belly to belly suplex. Now we're seeing some of the amateur wrestling, some of the catches catch can and catches catch will from Chad Gable. LA Knight ducks behind, series of low roundhouse kicks to the quad. Inverted fireman's carry into that Kobashi style burning hammer. Knight likes to set up his blunt force trauma. There it is. And if he hooks this man, he's got him. Ref in position. And yes, LA Knight in front of the champion, Otis picks up the win. And the question becomes, will LA Knight be taking on Otis for that championship or will he be taking on Ivor? So much controversy surrounding that championship. Two number one contenders and this thing has Here's to come winner. to a head soon. Yeah. And fans, we thank you for joining us this week. We hope that you will join us next week. We hope that you will share this event. We've been so proud of our growth here. I'm Arachnid Soul in the booth as always. Thank you and good night.